Hello everyone. Welcome to Win Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss and one more heterocycle compound which is known as quinoline. Quinoline is an heterocycle compound which is containing a pyridine nucleus. This is a pyridine nucleus which is fused with the benzene ring. The second and third position. See if you number the pyridine 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here the second and third position of the pyridine nucleus is fused with the benzene ring. So it is also known as benzopyridine. Okay. Now we, we are going to study the uh, synthesis and reactions of quinoline. These are quite simple in that first synthesis we are going to study is scrap synthesis where a aromatic amine which is not sub which is which has a vacant ortho positions. Now this is an aniline which is which has no substitution in the ortho positions when such amines reacts with the this is glycerol in presence of concentrated h2so4 and c6h5no2 we get quinoline let's see the mechanism now this is our glycerol so when this glycerol reacts with h2so4 what is going to happen is the removal of a uh, two removal of two molecules of water so when two molecules of water are removed what is formed the formation of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound is formed so that is known as acrolein and alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound is formed and that is known as acrolein so this is first step we have found acrolein from alpha beta unsaturated compound okay i hope I hope you have understood the step one. Now step two, what is happening in this step two? In step two, the amine is taken and the alpha beta unsaturated compound which has formed here that is taken. Now what will happen here? Now obviously this bond will shift here. So when this, this bond is shifting here, this bond will be shifted here. Now this carbon will get a positive charge. Now there are lone pair of electrons on the nitrogens which will attack on the positive charge of this carbon. So what will happen now? A benzene ring. Now it, 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 it is actually a, it will carry a plus charge which is neutralized by one of the hydrogen and that hydrogen will be coming and joining on this O, this O minus. So that will be HCOH. Now this is double bond here CH, CH2 and this is NH. It is equivalent to what? It is a enol form. Now it will be, it's a keto enol tautomerism type. So NH, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, H. Now this is being quite more stable. What will happen now? In presence of H plus, what will happen is OH. Now when H is added here, so it will be plus. Now further, a bond shifts here because it has a plus charge. So it will be OH. Now, when the bond shifts here, this carbon gets a positive charge. So how this positive charge is neutralized now? From the double bond which is there in the aromatic ring. Okay. Now, the structure will come like that and positive charge is developed here. I have shown here in this structure, positive charge is developed here and it is CH. Now, this has become OH, CH2, CH2, NS, NH as it is. Now, what will happen? Here, positive charge is there. It should be neutralized. So what will happen? This hydrogen donates its electrons to this bond. So we will get a double bond here. Now the charge is neutralized here. Hence it is CHOH, CHH, CH2NH. Now what will happen? This hydrogen will give bond here and this OH will be removed as H2O. Now what will happen? We get this compound. Okay. When this compound, now what is the requirement? Now the requirement is addition of one more double bond. Now here addition of one, now one double bond is there. We require one more double bond here. So how we are going to get the one more double bond here? We are just getting by, uh, by treating this molecule with C6H5NO2. So one, two, this is dihydroquinoline. So when this dihydroquinoline is treated with C6H5NO2, we are going to get 
quinoline we are going to get quinoline so this is the scrap synthesis now we are going to study the second synthesis i hope you have understood this so once again i will repeat if you want the aniline which has a vacant position at two ortho positions will react with glycerol in presence of concentrated h2so4 and c6h5no2 we get quinoline so first step is what glycerol is treated with concentrated h2so4 and we get a alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound that is known as acrolein further the ortho substituted sorry unsubstituted aniline reacts with the acrolein which has formed in the stage 1 and we get with the uh, this mechanism you can see with this mechanism we can form the quinoline now similarly dobner miller reaction now in this dobner miller synthesis what happens is we have again an alpha beta unsaturated compound which is going to react with the amine what is the difference between this reaction and the scrap synthesis here aniline we have taken same thing and here also we have taken alpha beta unsaturated compound the only difference here is this is a substituted alpha beta unsaturated compound earlier it was ch2 now it is just ch ch3 so it is substituted alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound same way again this bond shifts here this bond shifts here this will get plus charge so lone pair of electrons comes and attacks here and we will get this structure further the lone pair of electrons of oxygen comes back again it will be in the form of keto enol tautomerism we can show this arrow it's a enol form because en and ol right double bond and ol so it is enol form and it's a keto form so it is having a keto enol tautomerism now further this reacts as it is now the aromatic this double bond o shifts here again this bond shifts here we will get this again this H will donate electrons here. We will get this minus H2O is removed. Now again we have got what? Dihydroquinoline. It is two substituted dihydroquinoline. Now how I get the quinoline? Just only this reagent is going to change. That is C6H5N double bond CHCH3 has been used to convert this dihydroquinoline into quinoline. And the only difference is there also alpha beta unsaturated compound and here also alpha beta unsaturated compound and the only difference we are getting is only difference we are getting is 2 methyl quinoline okay now friedlander synthesis in friedlander synthesis what happens is a ketone is taken which is having an active methylene compound okay and and this one or amino benzaldehyde okay now what happens is this molecule how it will react now here NH2 is there and this oxygen is there now this two will react and what will happen a water molecule is lost it's a very simple reaction a water molecule is lost now what will happen this structure is formed now what will happen here is this is this bond is shifted here I have told you in presence of base now this is an active methylene compound okay now here it will be forming a minus charge now as it is forming a minus charge what will happen this will go and attack here we will get this structure so this will be OH H this is CH2 C double bond N and as it is now minus H2O remove minus H2O what will happen this H 1 H will take here this will come here and OH will go and you will get your quinoline now one more very important synthesis is synthesis from indole so indole is what a six membered benzene ring which is attached to a pyrrole nucleus now here we need pyridine nucleus so one extra carbon we need to add so what will happen here is when we treat this with a carbon a compound which is generating a carbon for example you can take dichloromethane dcm you take in presence of methyl lithium okay what you will get a carbene you will get now what will happen a carbene is inserted between this two double bond when we are using this carbon insertion when we want to increase the number of carbon atoms in the ring so now so in increasing the number of carbon atoms in the ring means what now five membered is get, getting converted to six membered so how this process is going to takes place 
now to this pi membered ring what we are going to do is we are going to insert this carbene and then we are increasing the number of carbons in the ring hence a uh, indole is converted to pyrrol uh, sorry quinoline by carbene insertion reaction this is fourth synthesis now we are going to discuss some of the reactions of quinoline so what are the very important reactions now basic character how these molecules become bases now you remember we have lone pair of electrons on the nitrogens now whether those lone pair of electrons are involved in the uh, involved in the delocalization in the ring or not so here if you see this lone pair of electrons they are not involved in the delocalization hence they are easily available for the any compound which is coming as electrophile hence this quinoline show some basic character so when they are treated with inorganic acids like hcl ch3i what will happen is they form a quaternary salts quaternary salts okay so h plus cl minus so h plus will come and attack on the nh so n plus here cl minus so they form quaternary salt similarly with ch3i also now second important reaction is reduction reactions when quinoline reacts with h2 in ni or or tin in hcl what we get is tetrahydroquinoline only two double bonds which are present in the quinoline nuclei are are reduced whereas the other double bonds which are present in the benzene ring are not not at all touched whereas when i used a different reagent for example h2pt hydrogen on pl uh, platinum in ch3cooh in acetic acid now here all the double bonds whichever are present in the quinoline are reduced and we get decahydroquinoline now very important reaction comes is oxidation this we have studied in the elucidation of nicotine also now what is the what is happening in the oxidation of this quinoline now aqueous kmno4 is there it's a strong oxidizing agent now both the cases now here this this bond and this bond both get oxidized and we get cooh cooh here so what we get is pyridine 23 dicarboxylic acid oh, this benzene ring here this carbon this carbon c double bond o c double bond o oh so pyridine 23 dicarboxylic acid is, has been used now whenever we heat what will happen one of the carboxylic acid group is removed as co2 and what will happen only one coh will be removed okay so this is known as nicotinic acid okay if carboxylic acid is substituted at third position to the pyridine then it is known as nicotinic acid so when a quinolines reacts with aqueous chem uh, oxidizing agents usually they form pyridine 2 3 dicarboxylic acids and when on heating they form nicotinic acid now but when uh, quinolines reacts with per acids and hydrogen peroxide they form quinoline n oxides that is oxidation takes place at this nitrogen so they are forming quinoline n oxides hope you have understood till here now next is a very important two reactions we are going to study is electrophilic substitution reactions and nucleophilic substitution reactions now what are the two things you are going to remember where the nucleophile is going to attack and where the electrophile is going to attack now always remember nucleophilic substitution is preferred at second position which position second position now hence whatever it is so na plus you should know which are the nucleophile is generated in the reagents so in alkylation n c4 h9 is the nucleophile which is generated in this c6 h5 minus here is the nucleophile which is generated so here the this is the nucleophile which is generated which will come and attack on the second position here this is the nucleophile generated hence this will come and attack on the second position hence this is the nucleophile hence this will come and attack on the second position so all the nucleophiles always attack on the second position whereas where electrophilic substitution takes place electrophilic substitution is preferred at eighth position which position eighth position if eighth position is substituted by some other group then only it is taking place at first preference is eighth position second preference is fifth position
so if you name the positions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so 8 is a major and 5 is a minor in case of sulfonation in case of sulfonation first it gives 8 first it it attacks on 8 then it prefers on 6th instead of 5th so that is the only exception case we need to remember so here br2 br is the electrophile generated so first br will attack on 8th position and it is a major product and in minor pro as a minor product br will attack on the 5th position similarly hno3 plus h2so4 it's a nitration reaction no2 groups attacks at the 8th position and in the other case it, it attacks on the 5th position similarly here SO3H sulfonation 8th position is the major and minor here is the 6th position these all are the reactions of uh, 